Hi, I'm Larry Zimmer, and uh, this year, my 42nd year of doing the Colorado Buffaloes, is going to be my last. And so, every week, we're sort of reliving, reliving a memory of uh, one of the games that I broadcast, or maybe a couple of games, but uh, some of the highlights of my career at Colorado. We're going to take you back to 1998, and uh, it was the first game ever between Colorado and Colorado State uh, in Mile High Stadium. A lot of hoopla to uh, promote that game between CU and CSU, and uh, 76,000 plus showed up to see that game at Mile High Stadium. It was quite a night. Colorado was coming off a five and six season, and uh, a lot of folks were unhappy with Rick Neuheisel, even though Rick had gone uh, to uh, winning uh, 10 win seasons in 95 and 96. In 97, uh, it was sort of an off year for him, and says, who's the quarterback gonna be? You know, Detmer and Hessler, that era was over. And uh, Rick knew, because Rick had gone out to a junior college to Mount San Antonio in California, and he got Mike Machete. So Machete made his debut that night against Colorado State, and he passed for 257 yards and three touchdowns. He had a long pass to Cedric Cormier. Uh, he had a, uh, another pass to Marcus Stiggers for touchdowns. And of course, the Italian connection was created there, Machete to Darren Cheverini. So it was a big win for Colorado. They really trounced Colorado State, 42 to 14, and the defense did a great job. They uh, held Colorado State to about uh, 200 yards, and it, it was just a tremendous victory uh, for the Buffaloes. Now, they went on to a 5-0 uh, start to the season. They ended up the season at 8-3, and three, and uh, they went on to the Aloha Bowl in Honolulu and played Oregon, won that game 51-43. And unfortunately, after that game, Rick Neuheisel uh, decided he was going to the University of Washington, so Colorado was looking for a new coach, and that's when they hired Gary Barnett.